Hey everybody, this is Dean DaCosta of The Search Authority, and we are looking at the enterprise level version of Hire Tool, new and improved everything. So we're going to go over this. This might take a little bit. So we got our dashboard. I haven't done a lot in here recently, uh, and that's basically because I'm busy. But we're going to go through a bunch of different stuff here and show you how this all works. So this is what you'll get for your weekly performance. Messages will appear here insights here if you have if you're looking for any insights on 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 a company on jobs or anything so let's go through this real quick let's look for a tile let's go through um software engineer and we're also going to do software development that's all I want. and we're going to come down here to location uh and i'm going to put in seattle uh greater seattle area and that's really all i really am interested in i just want to see what we get so we're going to do some general insights see what we can get out of it uh, I expect to get some really good information. They've got a lot of really good stuff, and now it's just putting it together and making it all look pretty and functional and everything. So we're just going to wait a minute or two. Um, a lot of data it's going through. I didn't specify skills and experience, so it's taking longer. Obviously, I can do diversity. I can do education clearances, and here we go. So there's 85,000. And, and, and here's the breakdown. You get top skills, you get titles, you get companies, past companies, blah, 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 blah. You get everything, uh, which is really good because this, this can help be your roadmap to to explain to your hiring managers what's, what the 411 is on stuff. So we got that. So let's go over here. We got reports. This is where you can do all your different reporting that you're doing. And then you have settings. Now we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to come down. This is where you can integrate your email. This is where you create a project. This is where you can sync with your ATSs, and this is where you can view all the candidates, uh, all the candidates that are, are available that you've put in here and everything. Uh, here's where you can add candidates through CSV, um, HTML, whatever. Uh, here's where you can cross-reference people based on a name, company, location, which is really, really good. And then here's a Boolean builder. Now, this is the new thing that I like, the fact that now I have the ability to build my own string of sorts. So let's start with the quick mode where I just put in a title. We're going to pick on software engineer just because I can. And then I'm going to put that on. And then down here, I get to say here, it's building it right here. I get to go down here and pick where I wanted to search on. Um, search on, make sure you logged into your account, obviously. Down here, we get generic platforms. We get healthcare. We get all the neat stuff that you would want. So this is good. And I can add things, take away. And right here, I can add and take away. So if I'm not Jive for Python, so let's see, I don't really want uh c plus plus we're just going to go ahead and back out of that and get rid of that uh c plus plus and there we go so i can play with it and create the string that i really want and then i can run it wherever i want and of course there are search filters where i can just make it easy and just delete things or add things add industry i mean this is phenomenal because this is something we've wanted for a while is the ability to do boolean then we have our smart mode which is basically their ai going to do it all for us and then we have our jd mode where we're just going to plug and play a job description and it's going to do the rest for us so so now we have the capability to make it simple and easy for us rather than relying only on AIs. Well, you know, and there's nothing wrong with AIs, just saying it's nice to be able to do other things. Now, here I've created a folder and I've put a project, excuse me, and I create called the test. This is something I did recently. And I can create my AI sourcing test. This is where you get the full power of their AI and you get to put in all the different things. Here you could still start with a Boolean string. You could still do your resume search. You could still do insights. You could still pick where you want to search. So you still have all those capabilities. You now have two different ways to do it though. You can do it one from a project and then everybody you get goes into the project or you could do it from outside the project where you're kind of testing the waters, getting a feel. And if you find some people you like, you could still put them into a project. So you have both capabilities, which is something I really, 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 really like. Here's the sample candidates over here where you get insights into people if I was searching. So let's go ahead and do one. Um, I've been picking on software engineers, so let's not. Let's pick on nurse this time. And we're going to go, do, 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 do. we'll just go with nurse. Um, and we'll go registered nurse and RN. That's good. Mentory skilled nursing. Be kind of funny to have a nurse doesn't isn't a nursing person. Uh, let's just leave it at that. So right now we have 2 million, 2 and 8, 9, 9, 9, 81, 281, excuse me. Good. Let's go to the insights, see what insights is going to give me on them, which should be locations and education there you go titles all the neat stuff that we want back here and i could say good fit bad fit and since i'm using the ai once i go through the good fits it'll automatically say okay well these are good let's find more that match it stick them into my folder and all that good stuff uh so let's just pick a few we'll go good fit good fit good fit 
good fit. I mean, the registered nurses as an IR. Okay, good fits. They're all good. And then I say start searching. And once I start searching, I get to name the project, which I'm going to do. And it's going to open up here. And here is where initially it's going to be searching. And initially it's going to go over a specific amount. Um, so what you can do is like 50 is what it looks for. You can say source more and just up it. I think 300 is pretty much the most you can do at one time. But you can do 300, 300. You know, you can do that game. Uh, you can wait until it's done. You can create a similar task. You can see the candidates that are in there right now. Uh, appears there are, let's see. People search, open web, source. There's five in there right now, so let's see who we have, which are probably the five I put in there. Good fit right there. See, these are the five that I put in here, so that that's understandable. Um, and so it's still going through and doing all searching. And this is where you pretty much just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go back, come back in a half an hour. I'm going to get an email telling me, hey, we're done. Here you go, ready to rock and roll. So that's how it works. Really cool system. Uh, works well. It does have a Chrome extension, so it can do that thing as well. It can hook up to several ATSs. Um, integrate your ATS to ensure seamless flow. It's a push notification. That's simple enough. Uh, I have not connected one. That's why there's none listed there. Chrome extension can be gotten there. Viewing all the candidates there. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the test project. Uh, and go into the sort it's got nine now so i put five in there as are you know those are my things now it's added four new ones so that's good um so there's nine in total five of which are already a good fit which means it's added four new ones uh which is fine and it's still sourcing you see this it's still going so it's going to add more i mean it's you can see what it's doing it's going to add more now it's got 37 sourced uh so you know you're going to get more in there than just there so 37 minus five you know now we got 32 that i haven't even looked at yet so there you go as you can see it finds emails it can find phone numbers in some cases you can download your list you can do it all so good tool um and i really like the redesign the redesign looks pretty looks sleeker um and i really 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 50 billion times really love the fact that now we have more control and that we can use boolean that was one of the things that I've, I've I've always wanted. That I feel like AIs are great. I love AIs. Lord knows they're 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 incredible. Uh, and then let me get on my soapbox. Let me keep remind you guys who haven't heard me before. When I mean by AI, you know artificial intelligence, there is no such thing right now. None of them are AIs. They're all machine learning on steroids. You want AI? Go to Star Trek Next Generation. Look for a character named Data that's an AI. These are not AIs, but it's the buzzword and this is what we're going to use. And as far as what we are calling AIs, or as I call it, machine learning on steroids, um, they've got a really nice one and really good tool. And I like the sleekness and I love, love, and I'll, I'll say a gazillion times, the Boolean building. I've been that, that, that's what I've really been wanting for a while. So there you go. This is the new improved enterprise level Hire tool, good tool, definitely one you should be checking out. As I've said many times, you want to demo them and decide for yourself which is best for you. My name is Dean DeCosta of the Search Authority. This is Hire Tool. May the source be with you.